Freddie Flintoff is reportedly set to receive a staggering £9 million in compensation from the BBC following his horrific car crash whilst filming scenes for Top Gear. The horror smash last December left the former England cricket star with serious facial injuries and broken ribs, putting him out action for several months. Now it is claimed the 45-year-old could be about to use a large proportion of his payout to boost development proposals of a company he co-owns. Flintoff is a director of Logic Developments, who reportedly planned to turn three plots of Lancashire agricultural land into industrial and retail units, and a hotel. However, those plans have been met with 487 objections by angry villagers in picturesque Somsbury. One farmhouse resident, whose stunning views would be transformed into that of a lorry-filled park, described the proposal as a monstrosity that would be visible everywhere in the village, according to Mail Online. He added, Ask Mr. Flintoff if he'd like it built in his back garden. Flintoff could be about to make a dramatic TV comeback, meanwhile, after news emerged that he is keen to revive BBC 2S Chasing Cars, a renovation show described as a merge between the repair shop and Top Gear. A TV insider told The Sun, Freddy is a hugely popular TV star and any channel or streamer would be thrilled to sign up one of his shows. His return to the limelight is something both tally execs and the public have been longing for and thankfully he now seems ready to return to doing what he loves. He just needs to get past the one-year anniversary of the crash, then he can focus on the next chapter of his career. But that aside, it seems that the cricket legend is also in talks about various other projects for 2024 and he is reportedly working with a production company Hess worked with before, called South Shore. At the time of his worrying crash, Freddie was airlifted to hospital after a three-wheeler Morgan Super 3 flipped over at Dunsfold Park Aerodrome in Surrey. In a statement regarding the accident, BBC Studios said, BBC Studios has reached an agreement with Freddie that we believe supports his continued rehabilitation, return to work and future plans. We have sincerely apologized to Freddie and will continue to support him with his recovery. And following a review into the health and safety of the show, the results of which will reportedly not be published, the BBC has been accused of failing to protect Freddie. Now, Top Gear is reportedly set to be axed after 46 years. BBC bosses are thought to have made the tough decision following the crash which almost killed presenter Flintoff, according to reports. Follow Mirror Celebs on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Threads.